The Roche limit is the minimum distance at which a celestial body, held together by its self-gravity, will disintegrate due to tidal forces exceeding the body's gravitational self-attraction. It is named after the French astronomer Edouard Roche, who first derived the concept in the 19th century. The Roche limit is a critical parameter that determines the outcome of the tidal interactions between two celestial bodies, such as a planet and its moon, or a moon and a massive planet. The tidal forces acting on an object decrease with distance from the attracting body, and the Roche limit marks the point at which these tidal forces become stronger than the self-gravity holding the object together. When a celestial body approaches within its Roche limit, the tidal forces can exceed the gravitational forces keeping the body intact, leading to its disintegration. This phenomenon is particularly relevant for natural satellites, rings, and other objects in orbit around massive bodies. The formula for calculating the Roche limit is d equals r, 2m per meter, one-third, where d is the Roche limit, r is the radius of the celestial body being orbited, m is the mass of the primary body, e.g., a planet. M is the mass of the satellite or smaller object. Key points regarding the Roche limit include Satellite disintegration If a moon or other celestial body comes within its Roche limit relative to a more massive body, e.g., a planet, it may experience tidal forces that exceed its gravitational self-attraction. This can lead to the disintegration of the smaller body. Formation of rings the Roche limit is relevant to the formation and stability of planetary rings. If a moon or a celestial body passes within its Roche limit, it can be torn apart by tidal forces, creating a ring of debris around the planet. Satellite migration The Roche limit can influence the orbital dynamics of moons. Moons that move too close to their host planet may be subject to tidal forces that lead to orbital decay and eventual disintegration. Determining factors The Roche limit depends on the sizes and masses of both the primary body and the satellite. Larger primary bodies with stronger gravitational fields have larger Roche limits, while smaller, less massive satellites have smaller Roche limits. Real-world examples The Roche limit has been invoked to explain the disintegration of comets when they approach the Sun too closely. It is also relevant to the study of binary star systems, where tidal interactions can influence the evolution of the stars and their companion objects. Understanding the Roche limit is crucial in explaining various phenomena observed in the cosmos, particularly those involving the interactions between celestial bodies in close proximity. It provides insights into the stability and survival of moons, rings, and other structures in orbit around planets and other massive bodies.